No, I don't think anyone would be happy with the idea of people being confined and, and, and families not being together uh, for Christmas. And that is why it is important uh, that we follow the guidance, we get the virus uh, under control. Uh, and that is important not just in terms of saving lives uh, from the virus itself. It's also important from the indirect health consequences, uh, mental health being one of those, but also people, for example, being slower to be diagnosed because if people are fearful uh, of going, for example, to hospital for their checks, there are significant indirect uh, consequences of the virus on people's health. Uh, and more widely than that, actually, if the economy is damaged, uh, there is a very strong body of research that shows that that also that links then to poverty uh, and, and to other health consequences and ultimately our ability to fund our NHS and our public services. So, so this isn't about health or the economy uh, or about people being happy with one situation. What this is about is saying we need to follow uh, the guidance that the Prime Minister set out in the House of Commons this week. That is in our interest both from a fighting the virus perspective but it's also important for the wider health benefits and the economic benefits that flow as a consequence. Well, the Chancellor did level with the public yesterday. He was quite candid in saying that we won't be able to save uh, every job. Uh, but the key then is, is how long people are out of the labour market for uh, and ensuring we have the skills, the training uh, and boost those sectors such as on infrastructure, on green jobs, uh, where people can retrain. Uh, and that's why we had the £30 billion plan for jobs package in the summer to enable that. So we have level with the public and um, the furlough scheme uh, responded to that initial phase of the pandemic. We now need to take more targeted action on those jobs that are viable because it's not good for, for people to be out of the labour market for a very long period of time. And for those that said they wanted to extend the furlough, they didn't say such a Labour Party wouldn't say for how long. When they said they wanted more targeted action, they wouldn't say on which sectors they wanted to target. Uh, so it is right that we focus on those jobs that are more viable. Uh, we do so uh, in a way that balances that fiscal cost, but also ensures we avoid the economic scarring of people being on unemployment for very long periods of time. Uh, well, I speak um, you know, very regularly with my colleagues, and I think it's absolutely right that Parliament uh, is at the centre of these decisions, and that is why uh, the Prime Minister made his statement uh, to the House uh, this week. It's why the Chancellor uh, was there yesterday announcing uh, these package. And it is it's why uh, that uh, my parliamentary colleagues uh, and members across the House uh, very much are able to, to voice their views. And, and, and we are consulting widely with parliamentary colleagues. So, so it is important uh, that Parliament has a role. And, and that's very much been reflected by uh, events this week. As I say, there is a common purpose uh, not just within my own party, but actually with members across the House. Uh, parliamentarians of all parties uh, want to protect jobs, they want to protect uh, livelihoods, they want to support uh, businesses in their own constituencies, uh, and on the health side they want to uh, limit the impact of the virus uh, and ensure that we save as many lives uh, as possible. And, and I think that is an area where members of Parliament are working together, uh, and as I say, I was on a call with finance ministers yesterday, uh, and that was very much the, uh, the flavour of the conversation.